Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous video, we have successfully uh, write the test case for the addition. So in the main.js for the calculator.add function, we have spied on this prototype. Now let's similarly, let's do this one for the subtract, multiply and division also. So that, so all these switch cases will be completed, right? So let's try to do it. So here in the previous video, what we have did, we have spied on this calculator prototype add function. And we have seen that how many times it has been called, how what, why it has been called or not. It has, what, what is the, which, which, with which parameter it has been called. These are all the things we have checked. And if I try to check the output, so it is working fine. So call side is working fine. Now let's try to implement on this subtracting. So for implementing this subtracting, what I need to do? So let's open this one test case. And here I will be writing the function. Same scenario. What I need to do? So let's copy this pi. And this time I need to spy on this subtract. Not add method. I need to spy on this subtract method. Now what I can do here? So let's copy this one and I need to call the calculate of 3 minus 2. So now I am doing the subtraction. So when I do 3 minus 2, so what it will try to do here in the operator, it is minus, it will go to the second case. So let's try to do it. Now I am doing this calculate 3 minus 2. So we will do expect of spy dot to have been called. Right. So whether it has been called or not, we need to try check. And also we need to check expect of spy to have been called with 2. So now we need, uh, so now, now we need to uh, call the subtract with the 2, not 3. 3 will be called in the calculator dot add. So there is no need to do with the 3 things. So now it, it will be called with only the parameter number B. Number B means second number. Second number is 2. So that is the reason I am checking. So now we can also check another thing that, so not to have been called with 3. Now we can also check that it should not call the subtract with 3. It should call with the subtract only with 2. So this is also the test case. Uh, this is also the expectation we can write it. So now what we are trying to do here, the first number it will be calling the add method and the second number it is calling the subtract method. In the same scenario, what I have did, here I have did that. So it has to call with a parameter of 2, the second number. And it should not, the subtract method should not call with the parameter, with the parameter 3. That means it should be called with an add. So these are the three specs I have written. So let's try to see. If I try to check the output, see now the call subtract call also got success. Now what I will try to do is, so now we, I will try to check that it should call, it should not call with 2. So let's try to check this scenario. If I try to check this scenario, immediately we got an error that expected pi subtract not to have been called with 2, but it has been called. So that is the thing. So like this, we can, we can also shoot shot. We can check this thing with which parameter it has been called. So this is it. And also we can check another thing also. So it should add be called times of one. We can all, if you want, you can also write times of one. Now if you try to check the output, so it had been, it has been called one time. So what I have did, so we have did like this one, right? Okay. Not. So we have did the not. It should call with the one time. Now if you try to see, so this also has got pause. If you want, you can also check with call times of 2 also, we can check it. If I try to check that scenario, see it has been, you are trying, expecting that it should call 2 times, but it has been actually called 1 time only it is saying. So like this also, we can check it. Now we can write like this. So call subtracting, so all the cases we have been, we have been completed. So what are the things we have did here? The spy should have been called, okay, the subtract has been called success. And it should call with the parameter of 2, yeah, success. It should not call, the subtract method should not call with the parameter of 3. Yeah, it should call with a parameter, uh, with add, right? So it, it is also true. And also the spy should have been called times 1. So all the scenarios we have did for this logic. The same thing what we can do here for the multiplication also we can write it, right? So here I will be doing the function, okay? And here I can take this one. So in this multiply, what I need to do, I need to do the spec, I need to spy on the multiply method. So right now, what I will try to do here, the same thing, what I will try to do is, so I will copy this one, instead of minus, I will do the multiplication. So these are all the things we can do it again. Okay. So now, for example, for the time being, what I will write to do is 4 into 5. I will write 4 into 5. Now, expected multiply method should have been called. 
so it should have been called with 2 it not has called with 3 so like this we will try to check it so now if i try to check the output so expected spy multiply to call with 2 but actually it called with 5 yeah that is the expected scenario itself so now it the multiply should call with 5 so okay fine we know the logic it should call with 5 and also it should not call with 3 oh, sorry 4 okay so this is also the scenario now if i try to see see the multiply also has been passed okay so this multiply is also has completed now another thing another thing what we need to do so here also you can also check that multiply times also too if you try to check means expected multiply to have been called two times but it was called only one time yeah that is the expected behavior so this which case multiply it will be called so now we have completed the case uh, first case second case and third case is also completed now we need to check the division case also so let's try to write this division case also here i am opening this one divide and here i am doing the function in this function let's try to copy this pi thing okay and here i am doing the division divide and here i will do the calculation so something like what i will try to do is 5 divided by 6 or something like 3 or something like that i will try to do it okay now i will copy these all the things okay or otherwise 6 divided by 3 i will try to keep it now expected spy to have been called yeah it's perfect so now the division should call with 3 right the second number in the main.js it will be called divide divide it is calling with the number b so that is nothing but number b means it is third number second number it has not called with 6 okay so spy should have been called times 1 so division will be called only one time so this scenario also i am checking so now if you try to see the output success so we have implemented successfully the addition subtraction multiplication and also the division so here we have completed the cases which case something like plus minus star and also division we have checked there is no need to check the default case why because other than this operator if anything comes from the expression so here only the application will stop the logic will stop here only why because the operation here you, it will be checking with the regular expression only plus star minus and divide so other than this expression anything if it is coming means it will be stopped here only so for that reason so there is no need to add this default okay so never it will not enter the logic will not will never enter into the default case so it will be case like this only right right so you, you you may be understanding the scenario so default case will never get executed so because of this expression if anything expression other than this expression coming means so the logic will be stopped here only so it will be telling that expression not recognized so for that reason i am removing the default so there is no need to implement the default also now by this up to here the up to the switch case we have completed everything so the test case the test scenario the code coverage we have completed everything okay hope you understood about this spying on the properties so how we have did the spying on the prototypes we have seen so here i have called this this is in the window object result so here like this calculator dot prototype i am doing this uh, i am spying on this calculator dot prototype and also the method so calls add calls subtract calls multiply and calls divide all the scenarios i have covered it hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel Thank you.